So today's video, I'm going to be taking this old windshield wiper. Now this is actually a replacement wiper for my Mitsubishi Endeavor that you might see on the channel. It does not have one. So my buddy picked this one up from a poor part and it's kind of showing its age. You know, it's sun faded. Now you can use different color trim bumper and bumper paint. Basically it's a kind of a adhesion promoter built in with uh, additive to make this last and has pretty decent you know uh adhesion uh uv protection and others so to prep any windshield wiper i won't be painting on this hood by the way but uh to prep any windshield wiper you want to get you a scotch bright or some uh 800 grit sandpaper and you want to scuff everything down now i do make refillable ends for these so you can actually buy a refill kit for windshield wipers and cut down the size you need or these little things right here that's what i will be doing with this and so i'm going to go ahead and remove this so basically it's just flies out now you can get refillable blades just go to your auto parts store tell them you want refillable blades take your one to match it up if they're too long you can cut them down the size so remember that it saves money too especially if you want to keep the oem look and not have to replace this section. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the tripod set up. Show you guys what to do next, which is scuffing this down. You gotta love an old Chevy truck as a workbench. This is getting painted, so I ain't worried about scratching it. That's an upcoming videos. So get you a Scotch white plaid, a gray one or a red one will work. Get your 800 grit sandpaper or anything. Before you do this, you want to make sure this is clean too. Uh, use Dawn dish liquid wash it and let it dry you can use a uh, alcohol water or spray away you don't want to use a wax and grease remover because i have bad issues with paint not wanting to sit stick because the wax and grease remover sometimes soak into the plastic and it makes the uh, healing process of the paint uh kind of not stick so let's go ahead and scuff this down and when you scuff it you will notice it goes kind of gray and fades out even more than it is. So you want the whole thing and all these edges to look just like that. You want to make sure you get it good though. All the edges, everywhere that you don't sand, paint is not going to bond to. It might with a good adhesion promoter, which this does got a uh, adhesion promoter, kind of a adhesion, you know. Think of it kind of like an adhesion super glue. You spray it on the plastic, it kind of takes and makes a good bite into it. Then the top coat sticks even better. So if you do miss a place you're sanding, the adhesion promoter will pretty much help you out on that. But you don't want to miss that place because it can basically uh, cause you an issue. Basically what I'm saying is, if you can sand it, sand it. If you can't, uh, hope the adhesion promoter uh, works out for you and does its job you just don't want to go ahead and just wipe this down and uh, spray it without sanding so now we got this all sanded and prepped i'm going to take a uh, spray away which is a grass cleaner spray this down with wipe it down before spraying now you can use uh alcohol water don't dish liquid just make sure everything dries before you spray it I don't recommend using a wax and grease remover, especially not a strong one, on the plastic. As the wax and grease remover can cause adhesion problems on certain plaskets. Uh, that's why a lot of people don't recommend using it on plastic bumpers and such in the refinishing uh, industry. So, don't use wax and grease remover. Use something like Dawn Dish Liquid, I call water or spray away, and uh, clean it up and get ready for paint once everything is clean and dry it should look just like this one unless it's a different color then it might be faded a different color from the scuffing so i'm going to go ahead and use the duper color trim and bumper paint so on the back of it tells you instructions you can follow these to a t but uh i pretty well just shake the can up good and put about three coats on it now you can get this better by hanging this you don't have to spray it laying flat down you can actually spray 
this side up first, then turn it down and finish it around like this. Because the bottom side, you ain't going to see it. And one coat is usually good enough for the bottom. So let's shake this can up and get the spray. You can see from that test spray right there, it is kind of runny. That means it ain't shook up good enough, guys. Always test spray before you spray your pot. You want that to come out uh, even. So keep shaking until it does. Much better on that last spray test. So let's go ahead and spray this side one time. A good coat. Now this stuff is easy to run, so you want to take your time and put light coats on it when you are doing this because you can sag the paint. So just remember that. I went kind of heavy on this coat right here because it's the bottom coat. I'm just doing it once. Now I am going to give this a 15 minute flash time and I'm going to flip it over and then do the top. And I'll show you how I do that. Uh, if you got this hanging, you can just do light coats on the whole thing. You don't have to flip it over. It makes it much easier on yourself. You don't have to do it this way. You can just hang it up, spray it three times all the way around, get it good and even, and then turn out nice. Turn out nice like this too. Sometimes people ain't got places to hang windshield wipers. Now that that has flashed for 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and apply one light coat to the top. And then I'm going to give this another 10 minutes. And between coats, I am shaking my can. So each time I go spray a new coat, I shake my can up, test spray, then spray my panel. So 10 more minutes, I put the second coat on it. And then uh, 10 more minutes after that second coat, put the third coat on it. And I'm going to give it overnight to dry. But it says you can handle it with one hour, but that depends on temperature. So overnight it is. So let's go ahead, it's been 10 minutes, and apply the second coat. So now it's been 10 more minutes, apply the final and last coat. Shake the can. Make sure you don't miss no spots. Test spray. So this is the finished wipe arm. It looks brand new. Now this is a great alternative than buying new wipe arms. Just paint the ones you got. And it also can help the look of your vehicle. So the next step for me will be installing this and uh, hopefully it works out good. If you found this helpful, as always, drop a like, leave a comment. I enjoy hearing from everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.